This video shows you how to use the Donut Personal Control Descent Device to evacuate from an offshore installation, either into a life raft or as a tertiary means of escape when alternative forms of rescue are not immediately available. As part of your safety induction, you'll be shown the location of the donut units on this installation. In an emergency, if you cannot reach your primary or secondary muster points to evacuate by helicopter or lifeboat, you should go to the nearest donut storage area. The donut units will be stored in a cabinet. Other survival equipment will be in the same cabinet or nearby. Once you've put on your survival equipment, take a donut unit from the cabinet and check the vacuum pouch for signs of damage or tampering. There are easy tear points on either side of the pouch, located in a red square. Tear open the pouch and remove the donut unit. Place the pouch back in the cabinet to prevent a slipping hazard. Use the instruction card on the front of the bag to re-familiarize yourself with the safe operation of the equipment. Go to the evacuation point and check the surrounding area for hazards, such as debris, fire or structural impediments. Remember to look down below and above you. If you are the first person at the Donut Life Raft station, you will have to deploy the Life Raft. Launching instructions can be found on the Life Raft capsule. Check that your line of sight to the raft is free of hazards, ensuring that the raft is a safe distance away and has not drifted back under the installation. Place the donut unit between your feet and open the top flap of the bag. The first thing you'll find is the main fixing hook. Pull this from the bag. The other donut components will follow. Give the unit a shake to make sure that no parts are tangled. Now let's look at the equipment. The fixing hook. This requires two deliberate actions to open. You must push down and then push in the lever. Once fitted, it cannot be accidentally opened. The high strength tape. The descender handle. The release mechanism with safety break off tag. The high visibility harness. The yellow waistband shows the correct way to step in. The release lanyard stored in its protective Velcro sleeve. The bag attachment point on the right hand side the nylon painter line strop stored on the left, and the tape bag with fixing hook on the back. Other accessories include a chemical light stick fitted to the center strap of the harness. Tap the tied end on the descender handle, remove the clear tube and bend it to activate. Use the light stick to attract attention. Under the top flap is an emergency knife. This knife has a guarded blade and is attached to the bag via a lanyard. Use the knife only as a last resort to cut yourself free from the donut or to assist others. Inside the side pocket of the bag, there's a wire strop for attaching the unit to any potentially sharp or hot surfaces. The donut unit is made of highly durable materials. Each individual donut unit has been load tested to 600 kilograms six times average body weight and has an ultimate tensile strength in excess of 1,000 kilograms. You must now choose a suitable anchor point. The preferred option will be to attach the fixing hook directly to a link fitted to the overhead rail system at the Donut Life Raft station. Your second option is the wraparound method. Wrap the tape around a non-sharp, non-hot piece of primary steelwork and connect the fixing hook back onto the tape. If you must use a handrail, attach the tape close to a stanchion. If you need to attach to a potentially hot or sharp surface, you should protect the tape by using the wire strop. Wrap the strop around the hot or sharp surface and attach the fixing hook through both carbine hooks. Next, you must enter the harness. Push down on top of the descender handle until the harness is on the deck. Locate the yellow waistband running along the top of the harness, ensuring that you can see the donut logo. Spread it apart and place one foot either side of the center strap. Pull the harness up and let it sit on your waist. 
hold on to a handrail or sit down if necessary. Using the clip on the back, attach the bag to the handle on the right hand side of the harness. Check that the area is still clear. Then, take the tape in your right hand and pull any slack back through the bottom of the descender handle, walking towards the edge as you go. Once at the edge, if you're connected to the overhead rail system, slide your attachment point as far out as you can. Remove the strop from the left side of the harness and attach it to the painter line going down to the life raft. This will guide you towards the life raft during your descent. With your right hand, hold the tape upwards, keeping the pressure on. Only light pressure is required to control the unit. Gently sit into the harness and lift your feet from the deck. You can use your left hand to keep yourself away from the edge. Otherwise, hold on to the descender handle. To descend, move your right hand downward, allowing the tape to feed through your fingers, pulling the tape from the bag as you go. You'll now descend at a rate governed by you. Even if you accidentally let go of the tape, the donut is designed to control your descent. If you need to stop during your descent, simply hold the tape up with your right hand. If you need to stop for longer, you can lock the unit off. With your right hand in the stop position, transfer the tape into your left hand. Bring the tape over the top of the descender handle and pull down sharply. Once you're ready to complete your descent, then with your left hand retaining pressure, bring the tape back over the bite point onto the control side and continue your descent. Once safely down in the water, you should first inflate your life jacket. You can release yourself from the donut system. Unclip the bag from the side of the harness and attach it to the tape above the descender handle. Break off the yellow tag and free the release lanyard from its retainer. Pull the lanyard sharply, keeping your left hand in front of the descender handle. Grab hold of the painter line and pull yourself towards the raft. Locate the rope ladder or chute and enter the raft. If necessary, use the lifeline running around the raft to reach the entry point. Clip the painter line strop on your harness to the lifeline to prevent you being swept away. Once inside, disconnect the strop and assist any colleagues in entering the raft. If you find yourself in a situation where no life raft is immediately available, you can use the donut unit to carry out a controlled descent from the installation. The procedure is exactly the same, except of course you won't be able to attach the painter line strop to the life raft. Descend from the installation. If no rescue craft is in the area, lock the system off above the water if it's safe to do so. You will be relatively dry and warm and be visible to rescue craft. If it's not safe to do this, descend into the water and inflate your life jacket. If no craft is in the area and there's a risk of debris falling from above, then pull the tape back through the descender handle. This will allow you to drift a safe distance away from the hazards while remaining attached to the installation. Once a craft reaches your area, allow the rescue crew to hook your tape and pull you in. Once inside the craft, the mechanism can be released. <laughs>